Welcome back to the channel. This is Jim from Bang Time Pool. So you're just seeing the end of my um, little practice session today. I'd like to make sure that um, the stroke is where it needs to be. Today isn't going to be about me shooting. It's going to be about a drill for you. No matter what level you're at in the game, this drill will be beneficial. All right, I call it the 50-yard line drill for a reason. I have all the balls across the 50-yard line. It's my buddy Willie, my little 18-month-old Great Dane. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a little challenge for ourselves. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pocket one through the eight in this pocket. 9 through 15 in this pocket. Now, I'm going to explain a lot of things. I want it to be clear for you. What we're going to do is we're going to start one diamond behind the ball. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit stop shots for 15 consecutive balls. All right? So you just want to hit a stop shot. Okay? Bring the ball back. Again, this, this is not going to be about me shooting. So we're going to hit a, sh a stop shot. Okay. Now, how does this drill benefit everyone? Well, once you can do a stop shot all the way across for 15 consecutive balls, what I want you to do is move back a diamond and a half. So now we are here. And we're going to hit a stop shot. And we'll do it 2 through 15. Once you can, can do that, we can move back to two diamonds. Hit a stop shot all the way across. Okay? That's phase one. The stop shot. So, again, in review... You're going to start one diamond, stop shot, for 15 consecutive. Once you can achieve that, you're going to move back to a diamond and a half, stop shots, all the way across. Okay, again, one through eight, this pocket, nine through 15, this pocket. You can move back to two diamonds. You can move back to two and a half. You can move back to three. You can get on the rail if you want to. Now, if you do get on the rail, leave yourself a little room so you can hit a stop shot. Okay? Now, the next phase, phase two, we start at one diamond behind our object ball, and we are going to hit a follow shot. Now, the obvious perfect shot would be following it directly into the pocket. Now, a lot of this has to do with alignment, okay? Um, is that a perfect straight-in shot? We will find out. Now, sometimes I do use one of the strike balls. I line it up straight. And it will it will give you an indication. I will move this ball. It'll give you an indication if for instance I'm using follow and I put some unneeded spin on that ball. You can see how it rotated. Okay? But in this case I can just use the cue ball. So again I'm going to start at one diamond. We want to just follow up. Okay, if we pocket the ball, the perfect shot. <clears throat> My rule to myself is I use the corner of the rail and I put two balls here. So anything inside of one ball and one ball is acceptable to me. So if I were to land here or here with the cue ball, acceptable, okay? Now, if I would hit up in here, it may be an alignment problem, but we would be able to see if there was any unneeded spin on the ball. So what we would do, we would hit our follow shots all the way to cross, eight into this pocket, nine through 15 into this pocket from diamond number one. And then, of course, we move back to diamond number two or excuse me, diamond one and a half. 
we would hit our follow shots one through 15. Once you can achieve that, let's move back another level. That's what I said. This is a drill for anyone from beginner to a professional because once you get back three diamonds and you have to hit a follow shot and you're trying to follow the ball directly into the shot, you're going to make sure that your, your straight shots are on. Okay. You're, you're positive that they are. Okay. So again, everything is a straight shot. That's what we're working on today. Straight shots to me, the most difficult shot in pool, but if you can make the straight in shot, you can make any shot because really everything is a straight in shot. You're hitting to your target straight to your target. Okay. Now the third phase of this, yes, you guessed it. We're going to draw the ball. Okay. Now my rule for myself on this is I'm starting at one diamond. I need to draw the back ball back to at least one diamond. Now, if I can do that for all 15, one through eight in this pocket, nine through 15 in that pocket, and I move back to a diamond and a half, I need to draw the ball back to a diamond and a half. If I am going back to diamond number two, away from my object ball, I need to draw that ball back to at least diamond number two. Okay, so it gives you a, a control factor as well. Okay, so what we're looking at, again, you're just trying to draw the ball back to at least diamond number one. If I was at diamond one and a half on the two, I would have to draw it back to at least one and a half. Now again, this is a great drill. Straight shots are the toughest to me, of course, and I work on them constantly. Um, you saw at the beginning of the video how I finish my practice is I, I let my stroke out for at least three consecutive balls and actually I've been working on this for uh, at least an hour today. Um, this drill right here and um, I, I can't say that I make it every single time I don't miss. I'm averaging about 13 balls maybe 14 balls a rack. Um, there are some I ran 15 but uh, seems to be my draw shots a little bit. I may get 13 out of 15 so um, it shows you where your weaknesses are. Um, stop shots, I'm, um, 15 out of 15 follows. I may miss uh, one, maybe two out of 15. So we're not perfect. We're going to miss shots, but it's a concentration thing as well. We want to make sure that um, we're playing this drill, we're doing this drill with the utmost um, confidence and concentration, okay? Because it is a tough drill. Um, once you get, you know, depending on your level of play, once you start getting back into two diamonds away from your object ball, two and a half, three away, and you're going to hit a follow shot, and your goal is to follow it straight into that pocket, um, it gets difficult, okay? If you need to draw the ball back three diamonds, you're going to have to let your stroke out. That's a straight shot. You can't be off left. You can't be off right. You need to hit that pure and this drill will bring that out if your stroke is pure or not, okay? Um, again, I didn't want this to be about me shooting. I want this to be about you shooting. I want you to practice this drill. Um, any level that you're at, you can do this drill. So I do appreciate you watching. I hope this is helpful to you. And stay safe out there. Um, we're, we're trying to turn it around a little bit, but... Um, Maybe a little bit early, in my opinion, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, give me a comment on the video. Um, How did you do? Um, was it beneficial to you? Give me a thumbs up if you like the drill. And of course, um, subscribe to the channel. Um, I would like to be at 100 subscribers here by the end of next week at the, uh, at the most. You know, sooner the better. But. Um, we're, we're making steps, and I appreciate everyone's um, dedication to the channel, a lot of positive comments. So um, if you have any ideas for me, throw them out there in the comments. I love it. And um, again, thank you for watching, and have a good one.